be terrorists. Yeah, absolutely, jihadis. I, I think we should kill them all. Well, but no, firstly, with, with due process, you know terrorism in a court, is not permitted with in a court, like, you know that, in a court. Yeah. Let me finish because you had, you made you repeated someone's accusation and you asked a question. Yeah, I did. Okay, I'm going to address both. Right. So I believe radical Islamists should face a due process in a court. And where they're found guilty of being uh, a, a radical Muslim, they should face the death penalty 100%. How can you tell whether someone's a radical Muslim? Let me finish. No, no, let me finish. Let me finish. Because that's really finish. bad for you to say let that. Me finish. When you, they're found in you, let court. me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Bob, now, Bob, most... Your court? The court let, of, let me finish. Of general consensus? The court no, a legal public, court. Not the court of public legal? opinion. The, the, the government. Let the me... Government. Let, let, the, yeah, this really government. British the government. government. Yes, the British government. When the British government, government finds right. someone... Bro, if you're going to interrupt, then... I'm trying to get to your point. But you're but you're complaining if I interrupt you and now you're interrupting me. I'm asking you to find out the point. You've made you a you've made a serious that, accusation and you asked a question. I'm trying to address both. Yeah, but you're making more points but, rather so, than addressing the point. I'm, I'm trying more. to, but but uh, I'm trying to. If if you let me answer the first point and the first question, if you go to the point, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, and, and that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm not deterred. I'm not. No, that's just your characterization again, and I don't accept your characterizations. All right, I'll give you a chance, bro. Go right, ahead, please. So to answer your question directly, should Christians, radi radical yes. Christians be given the death sentence? Let me finish yes no? dealing with the accusation before I address the question, right. I will deal with both. I'll ask you again when yeah. you get around to answering right, it. I, I, if I don't get around to answering it, then ask me again. But let me address, because oh, you repeated a serious yeah. accusation. What's of time? Right, What's of time? and the, 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 the serious accusation, you should go back to those people that said that to you, and you should say to them, right, I, 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 he, Bob has accused you of being a liar. Where is your proof? Because you'll see, and you've heard from my own lips, that I would say only radical Muslims should face a death penalty. When I ask not you, every, not 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 all Muslims, not, not all Muslims. Muslims. Now, now that's a separate question. Now you ask the question so about bit, radical. Bit, bit, now you ask the question about radical Christians. Let me be clear. Let me be clear. Radical Christians who behave like radical Muslims should also face the same process with the same execution at the end. So if someone behaves like a, a radical Muslim, they should serve the same punishment as a radical Muslim. Because in, as a Christian, I'm committed to the idea of equality under the law, which means that Muslims and Christians have to be treated the same under the law. I just want a harsher punishment for radical Muslims. And if there are radical Christians who oh. behave like oh. radical Muslims, they me? should face the same punishment. What, wait, 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 wait. What, what is this additional punishment yeah. for Muslims? Right, so let me let the, the, the reason why yeah. I'm specifically talking about radical Muslims no, is what because. Is the additional punishment yeah. for the Muslims? The, 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 what I talked about, the execution. Yeah. yeah, but what is your logic behind the additional punishment for right, Muslims? Right, so, so, the, let, just so, just so you haven't misunderstood me, the reason why that policy, I believe, should be in place is because there is a problem of radical Islamists inside the Muslim community. Are you going to deny that? There's a, there's a, there's a, there definitely is a, um, a radicalists within our world. Definitely. No. And no. Are you everywhere. denying it about within the Muslim community? Everywhere. No, I'm telling you that every race and creed and color of people in the world suffers radical. from radicals. Yeah. Are there That's networks? The are there networks of radicals? Radical wait Christians second, blowing people. up mosques. Please, Bob, let me talk. Because there's... Wait, Achi, let me speak. Because there's got to be a finite understanding between a radicalist, and your, and your understanding, a radicalist Muslim that blows up a bomb, indiscriminately kills many people, and then a Christian who's a doctor and works on operating theatre and kills deliberately, yeah. oops, by accident, kills deliberately yeah. people not of his religion and his faith. There's, that, that's just murder, bro. There's just bad people. It's worse. Wait a second. There's bad people and there's good people in all religions. And if you're telling me there's not... I wouldn't say that. Right, good. What I want to understand is where you're telling me this 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 phrase that you used was mm. additional, additional punishment. punishment. Okay. That's what you said. Muslim. So let me clarify. So, so before I start to listen to my brothers telling yeah. me that you want additional punishment for Muslims, no, let me which clarify. Is what you said. Yeah, yeah, you're jumping on this. You word. need to find out for me you're, you're, exactly what you mean before I walk away from here yeah. thinking this person, let me this clarify, human then. being, Bob, from Speaker's Corner, let me wants additional punishment for Muslim men and women. So let me clarify, because you jumped on that word. So let me be clear, right? What I was talking about is the fact that we have punishments for radicals of all kinds in this country already. 
What I'm saying is that there needs to be a, an additional level of punishment. And the reason why I say all Muslim, of them, all, all, of all of them, I've already made that clear, bro. That's not what you said. But no, I think you're end, just selecting, end, you're selecting end, what I'm saying. End, you you're literally you selecting stop. what I'm saying. Stop. Stop. You're literally selecting what I'm said, saying. You're literally misquoting me, bro. Muslims. You're literally misquoting me. You're literally, you're misquoting me. You're misquoting me. No, I don't. What did you say? Because what? Because I've clarified. You're the same get out, bro. What are you doing? Yeah. So what I... Listen to me. Yeah. Do you or don't you agree that there is additional punishment for Muslims yes or no one second let me be clear yeah, that's what you said right if that's the word that you're going to cling on to let us change the word <laughs> please change. what needs to be done yeah. is a new punishment for the radical Islamist new punishment. the radicalist or the or just the Muslim now hold on one second because you're ignoring what I've already said in this what conversation so let me remind you, you keep again saying the radicalist Muslim I'm going I'm to, saying right, to you, are you now, you, now the you're just interrupting or the Muslims now you're just interrupting no, I keep asking you the same yes. question and, and, and I no, I no, I don't. And the You're camera shows the literally, digger. literally. I, oh, that's again your characterization, which you do every time we have a conversation. Oh, you always oh. make these characterizations. You're right? feeding into their narrative. Let me, let, let me, let me replay. You I do not care about their lies. Again, no, again, you've misquoted me. So then, tell me. You've the misquoted me. Then please correct right, me. Right. Firstly, I want you to answer me a question now, and don't avoid it. Is or is there an Islam? Is, is, is there this a, the end of it? Of the conversation? Because uh, are, are you just are you just going to ignore? Are you, are you just going to run away from my question now? Oh, I should have read that. What you said. So listen to my question and answer it. So are I'm you answering a question with a question? Wait, because you, uh, I've already answered this question. It's on camera. You could just go back and watch the video. So, so my point to you is that there is a significant problem of radicalism in the Muslim community. It's not just costing the lives of the Kufar, it's costing the lives of Muslims as well. And part of the reason for that problem is because our punishments are too soft. Our attitude towards it is too soft. And so there isn't a high enough cost yeah. to put people off. Okay? So you agree with right? me that there should be a death sentence for those people who are, for anybody, for anybody. Muslim, right. Christian, Jew, Hindu, Sikh, whatever your yes. faith, atheist. But let's also, wait a second. Yes. There should be a, the death sentence for anybody who attacks people, men, women, children, right. in their place of worship. Not just in their place of worship. Yeah, not just in their place of worship. Like, oh, not like, those Islamists that attack those people on London Bridge did yeah. not attack them in a church. Right. And the, and, and the recent And the murders, people that supported them, the many murders. of them are in this corner right now. But no the reason, wait. The recent murder that happened in the in the Jehovah's Witness Church. Yeah, I only saw the headline. I don't know the events. What I'm saying to you is these people should be given the death sentence. And and, and what I'm saying is yes no? anyone who behaves like a radical Islamist should receive the same punishment. If we're going to impose a law on radical Islamists, it's only fair that anyone else who behaves like them should receive the same punishment. Including the radicalist, radicalist Christians. Yes. Right, but the point that you ignored, the point that you ignored, the language you keep using, but the point that the point the point that you the point that you ignore, I can I can say I can say I can say, and here's the point, bro, is that you're not willing to admit that there is a bigger problem of radical Muslims amongst the Muslim community than there are radical Christians amongst the Christians. Okay, I can wait, wait, that's a fact. That's a fact. You can either swallow that pill or not, but that's a that's a red pill you need to swallow. That's it. You, I'm not interested in uh, your conjecture. I'm telling you that every single race, creed, and religion in this world has problems with extremism. And the proportions so, are different. So for you to come here and keep on aligning their radicalism to other people's radicalism doesn't make any sense. No, it isn't. Wait, because a second, not wait a second. There's just dumb people and smart people. You understand what I'm saying? And I'm saying all, all of us have to get together, which is what I'm doing here. It's trying to pull the wealth of the Christians and the Muslims to stop this backwards and forwards ridiculousness and actually come to some semblance of understanding between them. Like I've said to you, when the church is closed down, I genuinely believe that if they want to pray on, on the day of Friday, on Jummah, to the Most High, they should come together with the Muslims. Yeah. 
put aside their um, uh, indifferences and pray together. But none of the Muslims around you will agree that I, I don't should care worship. What they think. What? Let me finish. I don't care what they think. Let me finish. It's between you and me. Yeah. What do you think? What do I think? And this is Stop what I'm saying. What they think. I don't care personal. what they'll tell you. They'll tell you. I don't personal. care. They'll tell you. I'm here for you and right. me. So let's that's talk. It. Let's me and you talk. That's it, bro. Right. So Stop. that's what. Stop worrying about but, what they but, think. But what I'm pointing out to you is the that solution you, is with you no, and me. Right. But the point as men. Right. So let's deal with that. That's it. Let's deal with that. Please. Calm down. I'm I'm just feel I know it's a passionate topic for you. I feel it. I feel it. I can show you a picture of the young man on last Sunday yeah. when you was bringing your colleague to oh he said she said, we yeah, said. Yeah, yeah. I said I said gentlemen please we've got big problems in our society there's gonna be somebody dead there's gonna be somebody dead by the end of the conversation I'm gonna bring his picture up for you the young last Sunday yeah. This man was 20 years of age. Yeah. He looked exactly like your colleague. Yeah. Your colleague wants to stand there saying, oh, it's not what you say, it's how you say it. And Which is true. It. And I'm Paperboy like, was right. Listen, this, exactly. wait, 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 wait. Paperboy this, was one this right. This passive aggressive stupidness that between the Muslims and the Christians has to stop. Right. So what has to sure. happen is they need sure. to come sure. together sure. as a, wait. They need to come together as a collective yeah. and say to themselves, listen, we are yeah. all believers in God. Let me reply That's to this. That's it. Let me reply to this. So we need to stick degree. together against the yeah. disbelieving... Right. So now let me reply to this. Let him finish, guys. We need to get together against those who disbelieve in God. Okay. They're the enemy okay. of the righteousness. Okay. They're the ones that are in, the, in, the, in this life here to cause mischief. Can I reply? And cause mischief between the Christians and the Muslims. They're sitting there laughing. Can I reply? Listen to me. They're You're benefit. directing your conversation to no, them. Oh, brother, look, so what you want me to do? Oh, I'm, I'm looking at you. I'm saying the only stop. one that is benefiting from the indifferences between the Abrahamic faith is these demons, bro. Can I reply now? Yes. Right. So, like, you, you said a lot there, but let me reply to the key point. Okay, well, and, and, and again, the reason you, you said that this is between me and you, but it's not just between me and you. Let me finish. Because if we were to try and enact, if I was to try, say, say you convinced me today that I should go to the mosque and pray, right? I am go sure. let, let, let me finish, right? Because you, you complained when I interrupted you. So do, now don't do it back. If I was to say you convinced me today that I should go to the mosque and pray, I am going to go there and worship the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. I am going to direct my prayers to the Father in the name of Jesus by the grace of the Holy Spirit. I guarantee that the Muslims around me are going to be offended by that. Are you sure? Oh, hey, that, 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 right. Are you sure? Let him speak. Let, Let him speak. speak. What's wrong with you, man? Let him speak. Let him speak. He is speaking. No, no, no. You, no, no. you told me to listen. You yeah, told me to listen when he was talking. Yeah, yeah. Now let me speak. So don't interrupt. Oh, yeah. Right. So, so, so my point to you is, even if you, if I came to your mosque, even if you would go, it's great to see you, Bob, more than welcome to pray. Yeah. I mean, you shake hands and I start praying to my God and you start praying to your God. Yeah. Right. The reality is there would be other people in that mosque that would take offense at me. And I would agree with them. That's the problem. Speaking honestly for myself now. Yeah. Right. And, and forgetting the hypothetical, you convinced me. I would agree with them. If, if you came to my mosque, so my mosque, my church, right, right, and you started to pray to Allah, right, yeah. even if I welcomed you, there would be Christians that you would offend. And speaking honestly, I would agree with them. And the reason is this, the God that I believe in and the God that you believe in are two separate gods. We don't worship the same God. We don't have the same beliefs. I believe, for instance, Muslims can't agree about when life begins, and many Muslims agree with abortion. They believe that abortion is permissible up to a certain point. I'm literally landing. I'm, I'm landing. I'm literally landing. This is my last point. Muslims, uh, many Muslims agree with abortion. I no, no, think no, no, that no. those Muslims are agreeing with murder. No, no, no. And they, they are as bad as a cocaine gambling, womanizing, sinful man. You finished? And that's if, uh, so we can't invite people to the, we're not inviting you people finished? to the same truth. Listen to Two me. separate truths. Listen to me. I'm telling you, when the brothers and the sisters of Islam come to the mosque, yeah. they pray to the most high. They're not there yeah. to, to interfere with each other. They're there on one intention. Yeah. That's to worship Allah. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? When they pray, they pray quiet. They don't open their mouth. They don't speak out loud. So if he has any indifference in his prayer, I couldn't tell. It's only the Imam that speaks out loud. Do you understand that? Mm. I'm telling you that if you come to a mosque and like you demonstrated to me in the Garden of Gethsemane when Jesus got on his face and prayed, 
he and did, he demonstrated. Time. He stop, okay, time, stop, yeah. stop, stop. He demonstrated. You literally demonstrated yeah, exactly the same did, Muslim yeah. sujood. Yeah. And I said to you, as long as you, as long as you come, the caveat is, as long as you come to the mosque and you pray quiet, you don't preach out loud. You don't need to speak out loud. You don't pray out loud. You do it exactly as everyone else does, toe to toe, shoulder to shoulder, in the men's section. You understand what I'm saying? I'm saying to you, there'll be no problem. You don't need to make cross. Jesus didn't do that either. And I'm saying to you, as long as you pray, as Jesus himself, your Jesus, demonstrated to you in the Garden of Gethsemane, not using this crossing thing, mm -hmm. no one will even know the difference. Sure, sure. Everybody agrees except you. And I'm telling you that everybody is starting to understand that the differences between the Christians and the Muslims is with men like you. Not with the Muslims. The Muslims are happy for the believing men and women to come with them. Can I reply? They'll, ha they'll happily uh, invite you. Do you Can understand what I'm saying? Can I reply? So everybody knows who's the hostile ones and who's not the hostile ones. Yeah. So, so the, the, the point is, bro, is that as a Christian, when I worship, an essential part of my worship is to make the sign of the cross. When Christ prayed like a Jew and Christians copy Christ in praying like a Jew, the normative position of prayer is to stand. Yes, we can prostrate. I prostrated today in church. I, that, that's normal part of my act of worship. But when we prostrate, we make the sign of the cross. When a Muslim bows down, right? And, and the thing is, it's not just what Muslims think in, in, in this dialogue. It's also what Christians think. And the, the, the Bible is very clear for the Christian. Light has no share with darkness. Truth has no share with falsehood. The worship of Yahweh has no share in the worship of Baal. We as Christians cannot worship with pagans. We cannot worship with those that do not worship the Most High. Muslims do not worship the Most High. Your God is the same God of Elagabus. The Arab emperor who bowed down to a black rock and worshipped a black rock. When Muhammad went around the Kaaba, he pointed to the Kaaba with his stick and he said, Allahu Akbar, pointing to the black rock. The reality is that the God of the Muslims and the God of the Christians are two different gods. Now, I respect that difference. I know what you want. You think that the bigger threat is about the atheists and the progressives and the godless... The murderers and the yes, rapists and the, yes, the, the God knows what, yes, What are you talking yes, about? Yes, but let's be clear. Let's be clear from a Christian perspective. Let them come to the mosque. A lot of the, the murderers and the rapists sense, are Islamists. Oh, bro, what are yes, you talking about? because they come to our churches and they bomb them. They come to our churches and they kidnap girls. Oh. They rape them. They force them into marriages. Oh. This is what happens it's gone sideways. in... It's gone left. No, one oh, second. Because you're wanting me to ignore all of this. You're wanting me to ignore a lot of the things that I simply anything. refuse to ignore. Listen to me. Let me help you understand the problem here. Wait, 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 Let me talk, bro. I'm saying to you clearly, you keep quoting yourself and saying that we are not speaking for you and speaking for me. You keep saying what other Muslims think, what other Muslims believe, yes. what other Muslims think, what other Muslims believe, what other Christians think, what other... You can't quote word for word what other Christians I don't believe you represent all Christians I don't right so I'm telling you whether or not that you want to come to the mosque and pray with the Muslims other Christians they're, they're getting on with it they're going to the mosque on Friday they're with the Muslims other Christians can testify to it I know them I speak to them personally and I'm telling you that you're missing out you're missing out on helping Christians to understand that there are big similarities between the Muslims and the Christians and what you can do is you can pull our wealth together, all our resources together, to help fight the crime and the indecency yeah. that these disbelieving goodness. demons goodness. are goodness. doing on a daily basis. Goodness. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? Are, wait, 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 wait. There are more attacks on places of worship now than ever. Yes. I'm telling you it's not right. I'm asking you for a solution. The solution for me is clear that the believing men and women of Islam and Christianity need to come together as a collective and pray to the Most High and have decency amongst them when they're in public rather than this backwards and forwards and he said, she said and I believe this and very you enough. put your hands there and here and stop very, this nonsense very, bro, very, it's very just good, stupid. Very good speech, come on. You can't Everyone can that. see who's you on the decency and who's on the, I, the mischief. When you're, when you're ready. Go for it. Right. So, so the point is, you, the, what you're refusing to hear is that for lots of Christians, the people that are attacking our churches are Islamists. And a lot of the people that are supporting those Islamists are the Muslims in this park. 
Not all Muslims do that. I have met them that don't. But the fact of the matter is, if you go speak to the Nigerian Christians and you ask the Nigerian Christian, who is it that's attacking your church? To a man and a woman, they'll tell you the Muslims. Now, it's not all Muslims. It's Boko Haram. It's the radical Muslims. But you go around the Muslims that have come to this park and you ask them to condemn Boko Haram, you ask them to attack, their, their attitude, their automatic response is to go, well, look what the Americans are doing. Well, look what Israel is doing. So in other words, they're implicitly trying to justify attacks against churches. So what you should do, if you truly believe what you're saying, is you need to go and challenge your Muslim brothers and sisters, Amen. why are they so soft on the Islamists Amen. attacking churches? Now, look, that, now, now, let what, me help what, you on this One, one second, one second, one second. I agree. So I'm landing very quickly. Um, let, 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 let me finish. I'll let you finish. I've only literally been speaking for a few minutes. Okay, right? The, the reality is, of course, there are misguided Christians that go to church and that they pray in a mosque. Right? And there are misguided Christians who invite Muslims to come and pray like a Muslim in a church. I can't account for their errors. But what I can account for is what the scriptures teach. And what the scriptures teach is not what they are doing. There are also Christians who, for fear of repercussions, are going to the mosque and they are praying to Jesus because if they acknowledge in public that they've become Christian, they fear for their lives, they fear for their safety, and they fear for the loss of their families. And I know Christians who are doing that in the mosque, in England. They go to the mosque in England and they're praying to Jesus in a mosque because they're scared of what their mother and father will do to them if they say publicly that they've become a Christian. That's people I know. So when you create an atmosphere where those Christians can say to their parents, I've become a Christian, don't hurt me, mum and dad. Don't kick me out of my home. Don't leave me homeless. Don't kill me like they tried with Nisar Hussein in Bradford, England, then I will have more time for what you're trying to suggest. But until I see you on camera challenging that, this conversation's not going anywhere. Okay, okay wait, wait, wait. Even wait, 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 let me talk. Okay, let, him let him finish, let him finish, let him finish, let him finish, you're his cheerleader. Let him finish. Stop winding him up, you're goading him to speak, and then you complain he interrupts. You're doing <laughs> I it, I didn't start him. Anime, anime, look at him, he's smiling, he's enjoying himself. He's smiling and laughing. You're claiming they're on mischief, and you're the one causing it. That's what, that's what, oh, that's it, that's it. You're buying it, bro. You're buying it. I'm not buying it. You're literally buying into his narrative. I saw the Your characterizations are false, bro. But go on, you wanted this to reply. Is, this is the exact behavior I asked you to stop. I was back in Europe. No. You were asking him no. to be quiet. I was going to give you my rebuttal. I'm now listening. we're talking about your behavior. Go on, again. go on. Speak about it. Speak about I'm it. saying to you, listen, when you see me standing here and I'm talking to you, yes. You're telling me I need to get the other Muslims in line? Yes. Do you not see me getting the Muslims in line? Do you see me challenging their view? No. Oh, he just you just literally said I've got him to agree to something. No. He, see? No, let hypocrisy me finish. Hypocrisy again. No, it's not hypocrisy. I literally got him as a Muslim Show me the video. to get in line. Show me the video. Show me the video. You said to me that you have been having problems with him for years. For years. And yeah. you said that because of my conversation, <laughs> that you true. and him finally had something in common. Yeah, we and disagreed I said, with and you. And I said to you that that is exactly what you just advised me to do. Calm down, you, you We're having a nice no, conversation. Listen to me. That's you the way advised speak. me no, to get other down Muslims down in line. Yes. And that's exactly what I was achieving. No, bro, what I'm asking you to yeah, do... Yeah, no, yeah or no? Right, I'm going to be clear. Yes or no? I'm no. not getting other Muslims in line no. with the conversation. No. But you just agreed that no, he no. was getting You've in line No, no, you misunderstood my no. You've misunderstood my no. You asked for a yes or no, I've given you a no, but you've misunderstood my no. Bob, seriously, it's getting weird, because I'm saying to you, you're clearly refuting yourself. No. You're saying, yes, I did, but now you're saying, no, I didn't. Right. Which one is it? Right. In terms of... You said you would agree with me when you see me doing it. I'm doing it. No. I'm doing it now. Let me Any finish. Muslim that's here is free to literally rebuke what I'm saying. They can never. It's, it's, it's they can... And I'm not talking to you. They can never rebuke what I'm saying. I'm saying to you what I'm telling you. Yeah is literally what I believe in my heart as to be true from the creator of, uh, of the world. Yeah. The creator. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, I hear what you're saying. On my day of judgment, my good deeds and bad deeds are mine, mine alone. Amen. Everything I say to you, I'm responsible for. Amen. I'm not responsible for him. That's true. Yeah. That's true. But I can advise Amen. him. Amen. I can advise him and I can advise you. And yeah. if I come here and be able to uh, afford you, both of you, some decency. Yes. 
then that's what I'm here for. And have I not afforded you decency yeah, today? Well, now you are, but you keep on <laughs> trying to bait me into this, uh, this and that, and the minor indifferences in the belief, and but so I won't be able to. Uh, bro, stop it! I'm saying to you, people are the cost of the cost of you not agreeing with me to this. Yeah. It's so expensive, bro. Can I reply? That you might not make it home today because these youth are so mad and reckless. They don't, they don't care. They don't care about a lot of things. They have no grounding. The grounding is gone. The things that used to keep the youth decent and yeah. honest are yeah. gone. Can I reply? They're disappearing daily. Your churches, your, your schools, Can your, I reply? all of the things that used to keep the youth of today decent, yeah. they're disappearing daily. Can I reply? And I'm asking you, what is your solution to my that? Solution, my solution is a, a, a hardened return to Christianity. The reason why our society is degenerating and fraying at the edges and collapsing in and upon itself is because as a culture the english decided to abandon christianity when the, and only when they return to a real christianity will the problem be addressed and the thing that you have refused to accept or to acknowledge is part of what's killing the christians are radical muslims i give you an example again nisa hussein an entire muslim family in the heart of bradford they all became christian and a hate campaign was inspired against them, not by all Muslims, but by enough Muslims that ended in an attempt to beat Nisa Hussein to death in the street with baseball bats and crowbars. So I know, one second, one second. I know two sisters, two sisters in the north of England who both become Christian. They're both at the point where their parents are trying to kick them out of their homes. That is Islamic bigotry aimed at Christians. The, the church, the, the church that was desecrated in East London was done by a Muslim who tore down its cross. The point of the matter is, you're talking to me about people that are losing their lives and I'm trying to tell you that part of the people that are taking the lives are the radical Muslims that lots of your fellow Muslims in this park are not fighting. Now you ask me, and I'm going to answer very clear. Oh, I'm going to land. I'm going to... No, no, no. no I'm just going on for a long then, time. Then let's make this our final comments. Let, 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 let's, let's land our conversation and let's make our oh, final points, that. right? Okay? Because I think this is one of the nicest conversations that me and you have actually had. What do you mean? This right? is the second conversation. And, and I think this is the nicest the out of the two of them. No, we had a very decent conversation where you demonstrated Jesus' prostration yeah. to God. Yes. I thought that was very decent. Yeah. If you didn't take any decency from it... No, I'm saying this was a nicer conversation. What's, let what me finish. What was let me finish. It? Let me finish. Let me finish. The right? only thing wrong with it is that you went away and decided it was wrong. Le no, I didn't say it was wrong. I didn't say it was wrong. To, to I, I didn't say it was wrong. At no point in this conversation have I accused you of the things that have come to mind, but you have accused me multiple times of being a hypocrite. You have accused me multiple times of, of inciting and instigating people. Now, let me let me finish, because when I said no to, are you getting Muslims in line? What I meant was, is that I've never seen you in a video go up to people like Shamsi or Mansoor or Hashim and say to them, and say to them that they should stop inciting that apostates from Islam should be killed, that they, they should be executed. I've never seen you do that. I've never seen you go up to, they have no, they, I've never seen you go up to any of the Muslims around here and say to them that you should stop supporting Hamas or that you should stop supporting Islamic Jihad. Now, here's the yes, here's the yes. When he was interrupting, when he was interrupting, and, did, and when other Muslims interrupted, did you snap them into line? Yes, you did. I'll acknowledge that on camera. But what I was talking about is I'll take your criticism of me more seriously when I see you on camera challenging the likes of him and others in this park that seek to justify the persecution and discrimination of Christians because of Sharia law. Until you do that, your words are empty to me. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I never say anything about this. You're doing it again. You told me I was. You're doing it again. I never say something. You're doing it again. Did they say it? You don't want me to address the point. You don't want me to address the point because you're sidetracking the point now. You keep doing it. If you can't, if you can't keep it quiet, bro, you need to leave. Because I'm trying to talk to you. It's not good of you. You keep doing it, Afi. We're grown men. Are you going to be quiet? Yes, sir. Go on. Please, Afi. Go on. Go on. I'm saying to you, there's one enemy, one enemy of religion. And that is those who don't have one. You understand me? And I'm asking you, in fact, I'm pleading with you. 
that if you don't now, when the opportunity comes to unite with people of the common consensus of believing in the Creator, if you don't unite with them, your resources, your strengths, while you still have it, there won't be much of your uh, belief left because you're clearly saying that is this is, is is dissipating because of X, Y, and Z, and I'm telling you. There's a lot more of dissipation from uh, the, the disbelievers than there is from the, 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 mis, uh, uh, the misguided Muslims. You understand what I'm saying to you? So for me, your, your anger and your objection is in the wrong place, bro. Your anger is fru in frustration is in directed in the wrong place. I'm trying to get you to redirect that anger at the right place. You understand me? There's people walking around with zero belief. In fact, they think it's their right to draw the people of belief into disbelief. And I'm telling you, that's worse for your people. That's worse for your religion. That's worse for your churches. These Muslim men are decent men. They want to unite with you on decency. They will fill up your church. Okay, stop talking, yeah? They will fill up your church tomorrow. The one that's closing, the one that's going to get turned into nightclubs and, 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 and apartment buildings, they will fill it up tomorrow. They will pay zakah for it to stay open, for, to keep holy ground holy. And because of your attitude towards them, you won't accept their charity, you won't accept their goodness. Instead, you come here and you try to pick holes in their character. It's not good enough. As grown men, it's not good enough, bro. And I'm sick of seeing you doing it and trying to bait people into it. Now, all up, the only thing I reprimanded you on was this uh, passive aggressive technique you're using of saying, oh, it's not what you're saying now, it's the way you're saying it. You can't keep doing that, guy. You have to come to some semblance of understanding with the brothers and all I'll do is I'll plead with your decency and say, please do that. Unite with them on what is good, please. Okay, so, so let me reply, right? And shall we, shall we do a final comment? That's it, that's all I've yeah. got to say. So, so my final comment, right, is this. As you can see, like the energy that someone comes at me with is the energy that they get back. You've come at me with a fairly decent attitude. Hopefully you've felt a fairly decent attitude in return. Hopefully, God knows best. Right? But my point to you is that when two million Christians were butchered by jihadis over 18 years in South Sudan, oh, yeah, there you go, there you go, just writing it off, just writing it off, and there you go, exactly as I said, exactly as I said, exactly as I said, exactly as I said, their response is to say, look at, look at it, look at it, look at it, there you go, that's exactly it, I'm forced to raise my voice because they're all shouting. There, there you go. So they, so they prove my point. They prove my point both in their attitudes and in what they say. They prove my point. They prove it. When two million Christians were killed in South Sudan by jihadis, there were Muslims in this park that would attempt to justify that. In 18 years of jihad, to me let me finish. And finalize your let point. me finish. Stop talking to let them me finish. And going on I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. I'm asking you. When, start talking when to me. 30,000. Bob, please. I'm talking to you now. But talk to me. I'm talking to you now. Yeah, talk to when 30,000 Christians were killed in northern Nigeria, there are Muslims Horrible. in this park that would try to justify it. Right? Bring one Muslim from the park. Right? There you go. There you go. Bring one Muslim. There you go. And the way that they try to justify it. One Muslim. The way that they try to justify it. Right, by shouting at him. Then because I am right. Because I am right. Him, he hates you. He I hates don't him. hate you, bro. Yeah, that's the lie that they tell. 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 Right, so my point to you is that lie that you just heard, he said, I hate you. Don't worry about what he said. Talk to me, boy. Right, I'm telling you now. Talk to me. I am. I'm about talking. Me I'm just and about what you've got brilliant. to say. Stop I, talking great. about everybody. I else. am talking to you. You're involved, I'm involved. What's your name, bro? Man to man, Khan. What? Khan. Khan. Khan, listen to me yeah, and I'm hear listening. my words. I'm listening. I do not hate you, Khan. Okay, good. Right, I know you're a Muslim. And the Muslims? Yeah, I don't hate Muslims. Alhamdulillah. I never hate Muslims. Say it again, Bob. Right, I don't hate Muslims. Like oh, okay. Alhamdulillah. Right, right. no, hold, hold Alhamdulillah. on. Alhamdulillah. Right, one second. Right? You heard it here. Yes. Bob said it. There you go. Out loud, with his chest, in a meaningful way. Say it one more time, please. I don't hate Make me a believer. I don't hate you, Khan. Say the Muslims. I don't hate Muslims. Alhamdulillah. Look at that. Look at that. Look at decency. Look at smiles on the on the faces. Look what you just did, Bob. Right. You brought peace amongst the people. But now let me. Let Isn't me, that good for you? It is a good. Does it feel good? But then you can, can I, well, when can't, you can't, can't, let me finish. Let me finish. Can't, 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 can't let me finish. Let me finish. Let me can Let me let me finish. Right. Because the can Let me finish. Right. Let me finish. Because the thing is, for five years I've been saying that. 
right? So no Muslim has an excuse for telling you that I hate Muslims. You hate Muhammad, what has happened? Well, you're doing it. What has happened? You you're proving me right. You Thank you very stop. much. You need to stop. Now, I just want to ask I you did provoke you're, him. You're, you're, you're literally doing exactly what he wants. Hey, no, no, okay. you're, you're blaming me again for stop what he's doing. Addressing him. No, but, no I said you. I'm talking to you. Khan, I stop said, talking with listen, him. Khan, listen to me. I said you are blaming me for you're what he's doing. You're baiting him, bro. Stop no, I'm not. I didn't force him to interrupt. Stop it, bro. All I said, no. Again, you're blaming me for his behaviour. You shouldn't do I that. I just told him off. I know you did, and I appreciate now it. Quiet. Thank Talk you very to much. Me again. Right, Khan. So listen to me. Right, I've been saying what you've heard me say to your face. Yes. I've been saying that for five years. Yes. Well, so, I need you to hear. You and and now you've heard it, and you've heard it, and you got it on camera. Good. So the point is, you now should go back and ask the Muslims why did they lie to you why did the Muslims in this park lie to you, you? want to talk about someone else again right why did they lie to you finish off the conversation right? that we had now you ask me the question what is the answer to the problem that we face about the the collapse of morality in the West Bob I'm gonna literally give you a couple of minutes bro but I can't all right be at this all day just tell me the, the solution please. the solution is that you and everyone else become Christian because it's only when we follow Christ, it's only when we follow Christ that we're going to find the solution to that problem. Yes. And it's only when Muslims stop finding that solution funny that me and us are going to get along. Because when, they, I, when I say to them, we should follow Christ, and they laugh, that is insulting to me. Amen. That's insulting to me. Because yes. what they're saying is, your religion is a joke. Exactly. I think you're again, again, you're talking with me and trying to put words and trying to put words in other people's mouth. You're baiting them. And you can see a lot of them are falling for your bait. And I'm saying I, didn't to you, bait I don't fall for it. Right. Thank you your, for your, your time. final words. I, thank you for Can't, your time. I appreciate your I'll say it again. I don't love. I, sorry, I don't hate you. Easy. I don't hate Easy. you. Steady. steady. I don't. No, listen, brother. Listen. I don't hate you, and I don't hate Muslims. And anyone who tells you different, you should challenge them as to no, why they're lying. No, I come to hear it from your. And you mouth. have. That's it. Multiple That's times. That's it. And you've heard it That's multiple it. times. Alhamdulillah. Okay. Khan and Bob. And Khan. 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 Listen. Khan. Khan. Wait, 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 wait. Khan, before you go. Before you go. Enough. Enough. As a confirmation to show you how much I respect you, to show you how much I've appreciated our conversation, I'd like to give you a gift. A gift of what? A gift, a book. Just a book. Okay. I have a question. I want to know how the Quran treats a woman and a Bible treats a woman. Because I want to hear. Well, the Quran treats a woman and a Bible treats a woman. Well, I want to hear. Uh, we're, we're, uh, our because conversation. Here's your next bar and partner book. Okay, no, this is for you, my friend. Well my done. gift to you. It's a gift. I appreciate your good manners today, Bob. All right, Lou, you, you look after much. yourself. Thank you. And remember, I don't hate you and I don't hate Muslims. It's good to hear it. Bob. Anyone who says it, otherwise Bob, is lying to you. It's good to hear it. And I mean it. It's good to hear it. And I hope you know and understand and keep, I mean it. Try and keep that energy that with is, the rest of uh, the brothers. And I have always said that I give energy back that comes to me. That's it, that's it. So maybe go tell them to behave better. Well, I think you've got a bit to do with your own character and yeah. your own, you know, sometimes I think right. our spirit can be high and our spirit can be low. I think some the, the, the typical English saying of you've either been not here long enough or too long. Mm. You understand what I mean? I get you. I'm saying it, if, you're, if you're constantly sparring with the same people, the boundaries can start to get great. And that's All what's right. happening for me. There's misunderstandings. But what I don't like, again, is the, the, the cost. Mm the cost of seeing grown men of Islam and Christianity just constantly at odds with each other and the cost that we've got in our society. Bob, it, it, you may think you're exempt from it. You understand what I'm saying? Yep. You may think your day is exempt from it. You may think that- I want to take this brother's question because he had a question. All right, God bless you. What's your question, bro? Peace with you, brother.